I could stay like this Forever following you Just don't get too far And I'll be right where you are Hey guys, welcome back to my channel so today, I wanted to create a Valentine's Day look for you guys. I plan on doing at least one or maybe even two more Valentine's Day looks. I'm not sure yet, but this is the first look that I've created for you guys. And this is more of the sweet makeup look for Valentine's Day. I love Valentine's Day. Even before I was, you know, married and all that, just, I, I've always loved Valentine's Day. I love the colors. There's something about the colors that makes me so happy. And just around that time, I don't, I don't know what it is. There's just something. There's something about Valentine's Day. Um, it's definitely my top five. Definitely it's my top five um, holidays, but it's just, I love it. I'm so excited. Comment down below what you guys have planned for Valentine's Day, AKA Singles Awareness Day. I was single for like every Valentine's Day <laughs> until I got married, of course. But um, yeah, I always had fun with it. I mean, it's just an excuse to eat a lot of chocolate and uh, watch chick flicks. And, I mean, it's just fun. It's, it was fun for me all the time. And I would always uh, hand out Valentine's to all of my friends. I was that girl. This is pretty much how I wore my makeup for when I went to school, like when I went to classes and stuff. Uh, I really like the cutesy look, uh, minus the foundation and all of that, but um, my eye makeup and lips were usually like a baby pink or a bright pink or something, but you know, I'm, I'm super festive. If you ever meet me, you will find out that I love holidays. I love celebrating. No matter what holiday, I just, ugh, I always go like all out or as much like out as I can. <laughs> like for example, when I was a student, I mean, I couldn't really afford to do like crazy Valentine party or anything like that. But I would always express my love for Valentine's Day through my makeup. This look does not have any eyeliner or anything. I wanted to keep it very soft. Very cute, very pretty, um, and very like dainty and feminine. You're gonna have to excuse my eyelash application though. Um, had a little <laughs> difficulty there. The eyelash would stick to my finger, and then it was just, it was a big mess. But I, I finally got them on, so I was just like, you know what, forget it. I'm just gonna leave them as is. But <laughs> other than that, uh, it's a very, very easy look. Um, the eyelashes are not even necessary. You can just go with mascara, which I normally do anyways. I know that red lips are not everyone's favorite, so this is a great option. If the pink lips are too much, then you can always swap it out for a nude lipstick or just some gloss and it would be perfect. So if you guys are interested in learning how to get this look, then just keep on watching. As always, I am starting off by pulling back my hair. And my skin has been crazy dry lately, so I'm going to apply some lotion so that my makeup will apply smoother. Then using the primer potion from Urban Decay, I'm priming my lids and setting that down with the Wet n Wild Single Shadow in Creme Brulee. Now, when I think of Valentine's Day, I automatically think of my Naked 3 palette from Urban Decay. So I, of course, had to use it for this tutorial. I'm starting off by placing the shadow Limit in my crease as my transition shade. Next, I'm taking this Super Shock shadow from ColourPop in the color Waddles and applying it all over my lids as a base. Then I'm gonna darken the crease a little bit with this shade called Nooner. Now jumping into my Huda Beauty Desert Dusk palette, I am taking this pretty duochrome pink shadow called Angelic and I'm applying it over the Waddles shadow we placed down earlier. I wanted the look to be more pink than mauve, so I am taking just a little bit of this color called Savage from my Urban Decay Electric palette and blending it into the crease. 
and you have to be careful with this palette because the shadows are so extremely pigmented. Now I'm going back in with the shade Angelic and spraying some setting spray on my brush to foil the shadow. Then taking this Winky Lux Kitten palette that I got from my uh, BoxyCharm, I'm taking this light baby pink shade and highlighting my brow bone. And for my inner corner highlight, I'm using this NYX Prismatic Eyeshadow in Girl Talk. And to open up my eyes more, I'm going to drag this color down to the inner third of my bottom lash line. As always, I wanted to add more glitter, so I'm using this NYX Roll-On Shimmer in Mauve Pink and placing it in the center of my eyelid and blending it slightly outwards with my finger. And here, I'm just taking a clean fluffy brush to blend everything and make sure that there are no harsh lines. For my brows, I'm using this IT Cosmetics brow pencil in Universal Taupe, I believe, and lightly filling in my brows for a more delicate look. Next, for my bottom lash line, I'm mixing together Nooner, Liar, and Factory, and then just adding a tad bit of Savage to create more of a pink shade. Now I'm just curling my lashes really well and applying this Tarte Tartiest Mascara for extra lift and volume. For my waterline, I'm using this Rose Gold ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in Get Paid. And yes, that was me dancing to my ringtone. Does anyone else do that? Or is it just me? Alright, so since this look is for Valentine's Day, I decided to go the extra mile and add these Kiss Lashes in the style Shy. These are probably my favorite lashes right now. As you can see, this pair has been super loved. And I don't know what it was about this day, but I was having so much trouble applying these. Oh my gosh. Anyways. To blend in the lashes better, um, with my own lash line, I am going to first tight line with this black coal pencil. This one is from Lord and & Berry. And then taking an angled brush, I'm going to smudge some of that liner really close to the lash line. For primer, I'm using this Dr. Brandt Luminizer Primer, and then I'm applying this Wet n Wild Mega Cushion Highlighter in Who's That Pearl on the areas I want to really highlight. I really wanted to try out this Sephora foundation, so I went with the middle shade, which is shade number 25, in case you're wondering, and I'm applying it with a damp pink beauty sponge for a lighter application. For concealer, I'm using my favorite, the Tarte Shape Shape in Light Medium Honey. Obviously, that foundation was too light for me, so I set my face with this Physicians Formula Argan Wear Bronzer in Light Bronzer. Then to set my concealer, I used my Over Cosmetics Banana Powder. For blush, I'm using this super vibrant pink blush by Makeup Geek called XOXO. Then as a blush topper, I use this Physicians Formula Mineral Glow Pearls blush in Natural Pearl. And I know Physicians Formula can be pretty pricey, so I am showing you a cheaper option, which is the Milani Baked Powder Blush in Dolce Pink. I wanted this look to be super glowy and youthful, so I used a combination of two highlighters. Both um, are from the brand Vintage. The first one is called Rose Gold, and the second one is called Rose Quartz. To line my lips, I used first this Jordana lip liner in Pink Love, and then I mixed in this super bright pink Ofra lip liner in Cherish. 
Then I'm using this Rimmel Provocalypse Kiss Proof Liquid Lipstick in I'll Call You. And for some extra glam and glitter, I applied this Huda Beauty Lip Strobe in Snobby in the center of my lips. And finally, to set my face, I first went in with this Cover Effects Illuminating Spray for more glow. And then I went in with the Project Beauty Setting Spray. Alright guys, so that's it for this makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! <laughs> fail. Oh my gosh, fail. <laughs> my nails match my shirt perfectly. I wish I could talk to my dog. You know how interesting that would be? Like to find out why he does what he does. Fun fact, this necklace is actually a very, very old, old, old friendship necklace <laughs> that I got together with my best friend from elementary school, Samantha. Oh my gosh, it's been so long. I still have it after all these years. Mine says friends and hers said best. And ugh, I still have it. It's brought back memories. <laughs> what you doing? No, 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 no. Sit down, sit down. Sit. No, sit down. There you go. There you go. Good boy. <gasps> Good boy.